everyone, and welcome back. I'm here with a dear friend and colleague of mine, astrologer Frank Clifford today. And uh, we have had a lot of laughs over our years together of attending conferences. And just now as well. That's why we're so red, or at least I'm red anyway. No, yeah. no, me too. Me too. It's not just the heat. It's our uh, cheeky conversation. So we're going to try and keep this uh, PG rated to keep it friendly. We'll do our best. I'm talking to Frank today about the upcoming Astrology Student Conference, which is an event that he organizes and hosts each year. Now, usually, Frank, we do this live in person in London, and I was excited to come to London this year, but it's different in 2020, like so many things. You're one of the few that was really prepared to come over, and then we decided we had to do it online because uh, uh, just, just with everything... Uh, possibly having a second wave and all of that. And it's it's quite a mad time, isn't it? So we, we decided after 12 years of doing it in London, in an amazing venue, you'd love it. You'll have to do it when we when we get back there, Kelly. But it's um it's in a courtroom, uh, a converted courtroom. So oh, wow. um, uh, there are uh, jury sections and then there's a big judge's court. So um, it's it's just very London. Yeah, if you want to imagine what London might be like in terms of a, a venue, it's sort of a mix of that. So and it's it's above a restaurant. But anyway, we're not we're not doing that this year. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm selling it to everybody, but uh, it, we've done it for twelve years, pretty much there, and um, and it's been. Uh, Wendy calls it a sexy conference because we have, uh, which makes me laugh because uh, uh, we we just have some great speakers, people who um, have great followings. People love to meet them in person. Uh, the speakers are charismatic and they know what they're doing. So over the years, we've just invited people that Wendy and I really appreciate and respect to come in and do things. And uh, But this year we've doubled it up and expanded it and made it an online online conference for everybody. Yeah. It's so exciting. Now, we should probably say the dates. It's happening September 26th and 27th, right? That's right. Yes. Yeah, so it's a weekend uh, and it's London time, but anybody that uh, signs up gets uh, 28 days access. They can come in live. There are two tracks, so you'll, you'll have... Um, uh, you'll have codes once you've signed up. Uh, you'll have codes to enter virtual room A or virtual room B, depending on who you want to see. There's even a coffee shop so you can go and have a chat with people and connect with them there as well. That's the third room. And uh, it's just Wendy's done a great job. Wendy Stacy, who's my colleague in this uh, for the last 13 years, and done a great job in putting it all together. But uh, yes, you get access to everything because the difficulty sometimes with with um, online conferences mm. or even conferences in in person is that you've got four or five tracks, or you go to UAC and you've got seventeen tracks, and you think there are too many people I want to see. I'll just stay and not see anybody, and you end up. It gets almost- overwhelming, doesn't it? <laughs> yes. So we've got two tracks, which means people can pop in and out. They can choose what they want. They can watch everything again, or they can uh, come in from Australia or America, pop in at whatever time they want, be involved at whatever time they can be, and then watch it later. So um, it's great fun. We've got amazing lineup because I said to Wendy, we're just lucky that, you know, we're um, we're a good team and we've been working a long time in astrology because uh, we've just had people say, yes, they'll come and support the conference. So we've got everybody from uh, the real intellectuals like Richard Tarnas, who, who wrote... I couldn't believe you had Richard Tarnas on the lineup. I was like, oh my gosh, he's brilliant. I know, he's I know. Brilliant. And the, the yeah. great thing is we, we sort of worked around because he's in, in uh, California. He's eight right. hours away from us. So we put... It's quite a juggling act. I sat down and tried to put Time all zones. the different people... I've got, yes, I've got Kira Sutherland and Brian Clark who are in Australia. They're doing the very early sessions. Uh, we've got somebody in New Zealand, Graham Eibel. And then we've got people like Sam Reynolds, uh, Patricia Walsh, um, yourself. Well, you're in, in Belgium now, aren't you? So you're yes. now ahead. But we've I'm got easier. A lot of in, I know you're a lot easier. Thank heavens for that. Wade Caves is there. He's in New York at the moment. Um, Lynn Bell's in France, so she's an hour ahead. Uh, Darby Costello's in London. Um, Ona Dossa, who's in Turkey, he's going to be there. Mark Jones, of course, who's in Wales now, so he's on the same time zone. And Melanie Reinhardt. Um, uh, who else? Did I? Nadia Ad- Adam Ellenbass, you've got a cute Brava. Yes, yes. And uh, the other Adam. Uh, oh, Adam, Adam Gainsbourg. Gainsbourg as well. So we've got Fantastic. the two Adams. 
Um, so it's about 23 people in total. Uh, and it's some people are doing an hour. Some people like yourself are doing an hour and 50 minutes, a uh, 10 minute break. Uh, and then we're on to the next one. So it's going to be a interesting. It's one of those conferences, hopefully, where it will be really stimulating and fun. And probably a little bit tiring by the end of the weekend, we'll all need a break from it, but um, it won't be overwhelming in the sense that you'll have too many choices and uh, too many things to think about. But there's a, a lot of people there doing their the best of their stuff, including you, and you're doing a really important talk, which I think is um, what we really need. And those of you who really admire and know your work well will know that uh, you know, looking at traditional tools and then finding ways to deal with what you might consider challenging aspects in the child or challenging placements. Um, a lot of the mentality around that is, well, you're stuck with it. Mm. Yeah? Or, you, it or maybe from the Vedic perspective, this means X, Y, and Z. And not being able to think or feel empowered to do something think about um, it. is 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 the trouble, you know? And I think if you can take what you know and your experience of that and then bring it into the modern world where there are solutions to seemingly difficult karma or certain mm. aspects that people are born with. So I think you're doing a really great topic and it's something that um, when you suggested it originally for London, it was, um, uh, it, it felt like perfect. It's what people need to bridge the gap between thinking, there's an archaic system here, but we live in a modern world. Mm -hmm. so I've just described it for you, but anything you want to I say? I love it. I mean, yeah, the only you've done a great job. And the only thing that I would add is it, it's come out of my thinking about the difference between something that is technically difficult, as we might assess by, you know, certain traditional or ancient techniques, but the lived experience of that that I observed in clients over the years is not that all is lost. You know, there are many things that you see people doing that are productive, that are about making a contribution to the world or to community. And it's coming directly from a planet that might have been written off, if you like, in the ancient literature. So, you know, I, I want to take people through some of the definitions of what might be considered a challenging placement or aspect, but then show how people are using those technically difficult things in a really productive way in their lives or in society. And so in the whole premise is that there are things you can do with things that might technically be considered stressful or challenging, which we all know if you've been a consulting individual in any healing therapeutic uh, industry, People who have suffered specific types of pain often make wonderful healers for those types of concerns or issues. Um, so there's something about that link there that that I'll be exploring. So yeah, I think I'm up on the Saturday, the 26th. You are, which, yes, in yeah. the 11 a.m. English time. So it's about noon your time. time. Yes. So it's going to be very early for the Californians. They'll have to get up or watch you a bit later on. But the idea is to record everything um, in the moment, and then we have a webmaster who's uploading it very quickly. So even if you come in, you think, I've missed Kelly, and there's, you know, in that evening, you might want to see uh, the repeat of that um, on your... Yeah, I think it's it's so important these days, isn't it, that people are connecting, you know, one of the good things, dare we say it, coming out of 2020, is that the astrology community has grown and blossomed because there are now people who wouldn't be able to physically travel to some of these conferences that can access the teaching and the connection. And what you are all doing with the Astrology Student Conference is fantastic. We're 28 days to come back, review, re-listen, see the lectures that you missed live. Uh, because when you say two track, Frank, what you mean, I guess, for people that might not be familiar is in each lecture slot, there are two choices. There'll be two different presenters going on and you might want to go to half of each or you might choose one over the other. But it is so frustrating, isn't it? When you're at a live conference, we think oh, I missed out. But that's the advantage of the online experience is that you've got a full yeah. month to review well, you, those recordings. Do you remember UAC where they put people in certain rooms that got f filled up so quickly I think you and I had that. Personally. We had that problem. We were in, people got turned away because the rooms yeah. weren't large enough for uh, the people who wanted to hear us speak. And, and there was no backup. There was no alternative other than then the person having to spend more money to buy the recording. So what mm -hmm. you're saying is the recordings are all included. Access to the recordings for 28 days is included in the registration. 
Absolutely. And uh, with your code, KEL50, yes. they get half off. So they get immediately half price confidence. And Wendy and I were talking about this for a while because we thought, you know, it's the fact every student that comes to us as astrologers, it's a privilege and it should never be taken for granted, really, because people have, there's so much, even if a lot of the free content online is content free, they still have a lot of access to, to astrology um, without having to pay for it. And you and I both know a lot of the stuff on there is um, dodgy or it can upset people or there are phrases that stick. I, I, I manage phone calls every every month from people who just ring the school and say, I've just read online that Uranus in the eighth house means uh, my new child who's got it is going to be electrocuted and that's how they'll yes. die. And you think, who writes this stuff? Yeah. And so um, there's a lot of stuff out there and it can be dangerous, it can be upsetting. But so every everybody that signs up, why would you take that for granted? In London, when people come to see us for the, at the school uh, and sign up, there's so many things you can do in London for nothing. Mm. So every, every single one of those is a, it feels like it's you know not to be taken uh, for granted. Uh, so yeah, that's a it's a beautiful way of respecting the value of the students' attention and their time and energy in participating in the conference. And I love that it does make things more accessible for people as well, because there is a lot of astrology content out there that's free, but it doesn't always mean that it's good or that it will be helpful or healing in, in any way. So yeah, yeah those codes, uh, that's a fantastic uh, offering that you guys mm -hmm. have included. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's going to be two days jam-packed from, I think, what time are you starting London time? 9 or 9.30 in the Nine, morning? Well, 9 a.m. London time, and it goes on till about 6.00. Um, the sat the Sunday I think is a little bit late in that because um, Richard Tarnas is speaking right at the end of the day, so oh, uh, he's on, on California time and wanted to do a decent hour. I didn't want to get him out of bed or have him in his his hat, you know, little uh, uh, Christmas hat or his pajamas. That that wouldn't work. It Although probably the, wouldn't. And for people who know. may not know, uh, Richard Tarnas is the author of an amazing tome on astrology called Cosmos and Psyche, uh, and he has I've seen him his thoughts about the astrological alignments of 2020, you know, he's had them published for a number of years and they're phenomenal. So I'm really excited that we get to hear him speak as part and, of this event. And also The Passion of the Western Mind is his great non-astrology book that oh, really opened up yeah. so much. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I want to say that, you know, some of the people that are attending, like Melanie Reinhardt and Darby Costello, Lynn Bell as well. And I also re people. remember uh, on the list, Bernadette Brady and Nicholas Campion. Bernadette Brady, Nick Campion, absolutely. Yeah. Now, when I was growing up and, uh, you know, well, I haven't quite grown up just yet, but <laughs> when I was in the process when early... your body process, was aging. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, um, I never really understood how fortunate it was to be living in London where you had Liz Green working uh, at the CPA, doing her thing, uh, Lynn Melanie Darby, Sue Tompkins, Bernadette Brady, Nick Campion. And you took it for granted. You could go anywhere yeah. every week and you'd have these amazing minds teaching you astrology. And I, again, I never take that for granted now when I look back and think people, some people have never seen Liz do something live or been in uh, in a uh, online webinar with Melanie, for instance, or, or yeah. worked with so it's um it's it's been a blessing to be around so many great minds in london and now yeah it's they can be anywhere without having to leave their their room which is fabulous so which is fabulous it, and it really is an all-star lineup i remember just when Bernadette Brady left, because she's Australian, and she was one of my very, very early teachers when I was taking her course that would come by cassette tape, it would come in the post with cassettes, and I would listen, and it was it was amazing. And then I was always very jealous of you all in London and in England, because there's just some great teachers. But now those teachers can be available to everybody. And I'm I'm so happy to be part of this conference, but I think it's a really great community offering in that we do get access now to these wonderful top-notch presenters who have so much experience. I mean, we're talking people who've been at the top of their field for 20, 30, 40 years and more. And again, without the hard sell, some of these people won't be doing it forever because they want to wind down. And I don't blame them. You know, they're, yeah. they're, 
um, they've they earn, they've earned the right to just sit back and not do anything. So it's really lovely that they're still coming out. Like Rob Hand, for instance, who's coming back to ISA next year. Um, maybe it's his swan song. We don't know, but um, yeah. we're very aware that that generation that you and I. I grew up admiring and learning from and not going to go on forever as, mm. as teachers and as lecturers. So uh, I'm trying to grab as much information as I can from Yes, them. we want to we want to take whatever they can offer us while yeah. while the offer is there. Yeah. And so for people to sign up, Frank, you've mentioned the code, which is great. What's the best website or URL that people should okay. use to so register? www.astroconference.com and on there there's a booking form once they get into the cart they can add your uh, your little code your coupon code KL50 and that immediately turns it from 199 to 99 pounds which these days is probably what about 120 dollars for, for Americans I American think. dollars and that's for two days of training that's an incredible Everything. price so, incredible yeah. price so that's great. And as I say, two two tracks, two options, and be able to uh, watch it all again. So um, that's that's fun. We're going to have fun. Wendy and I are going to need a, a nice glass or bottle of wine at the end of the weekend. I'm sure everyone will after that, but it's uh, it's a uh, tour de force. So we're delighted that you're going to be with us as well, Kelly. So thank yeah, you. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. It's my first time speaking for you and I'm thrilled, but I'm just really looking forward to the whole experience because the, the whole buzz of being able to be online and connect and share and, and be part of the community is so enlivening for all of us. So thank you and thanks to Wendy for putting this together. Thank you. And the, the thing that I've learned as well recently it's a you know the chat room as well that goes on yes people, and that can be incredibly supportive and helpful people sometimes share as they're listening to something they yes. might say well i'm having that and then all of a sudden you've got five ten messages from other people offering help offering advice and i look through it later and i'm really really touched by the uh, it, not just listening to somebody it's also bringing the people together and that feels really lovely too so that's a, a bonus for, for everybody i think i agree i think they're the learning and the the actual presentation is only a part of what makes the experience such a rich and healing and stimulating environment because that chat in the, you know, oh, I've got that. And this is how I approach this or this, you know, you know, it's that sharing amongst peers, I think is equally inspiring and, you know, it's, it's equally a way to access wisdom. So you kind of got to be in the room to create that, that spark and that magic, I think. Yeah. Wonderful. Excellent. Well, you'll be creating more than that yourself. So thank you for that. Appreciate Thanks you so doing much, this. Frank. <laughs> Thanks for talking with me today. And we hope to see you all at the conference on September 26th and 27th. Thanks, Bye Kelly. Bye now. Bye-bye. <laughs>